Our skeleton is a tissue that provides support, strength, and protection to our body. It is built up mainly out of calcium. Calcium is captured in the bones via the vitamin K-dependent protein osteocalcin, produced by the bone-forming cells. Bone is built architecturally to give maximum strength. In the skeleton, the osteoclasts are responsible for bone resorption. When osteoclast activity is too high, this will lead to too slow bone mass and fragile bones. This is called osteoporosis. Therefore, osteoclastic activity must be controlled. Vitamin K, in the form of natural mena Q7, is a supplement which adds to our healthy lifestyle. In contrast to dietary K1, mena Q7 is highly available and bioactive in the bone tissue. Here, it is taken up by the osteoclasts. Once mena Q7 has crossed the cell membrane and entered the osteoclasts, it can do its job. Mena Q7 acts in the cell as the key to turn off the engine of the osteoclast, which is responsible for bone resorption. It thus stops the process of bone resorption, and finally, the osteoclast will leave. In the bone, we have another cell present, the osteoblast. They are responsible to build up our bone. To work optimal, also the osteoblast needs mena Q7. In the osteoblast, mena Q7 activates the protein osteocalcin, which is responsible for the proper architecture of the bone and to support bone mass and bone strength. Mena Q7 is thus the key in activating osteocalcin. After activation, osteocalcin changes and gets its active form. It is then ready to be transported to the bone matrix. Next, the osteoblasts lay down the osteocalcin on top of the existing bone matrix. The name osteocalcin means osteo, meaning bone, and calcium, meaning calcium. It extracts calcium from the environment and binds it to the bone. In the case of osteoporosis, mena Q7 via osteocalcin will repair the bone. It will fill the lexunas in the bone again with calcium. In this way, mena Q7 acts both on the inhibition of bone resorption, bone loss, and bone formation, bone strength.